hello friends welcome to my youtube channel technet guide in this video i am going to tell you advanced troubleshooting of fortigate firewall you can see this is my typology here we'll discuss here with different different tickets okay we'll use diagnose command debug command ipsec troubleshooting multiple things we'll do here with different different ticket okay I will explain you all the things step by steps. So friends, before troubleshooting firewall, we should be aware with connectivity, okay? What is connected, which IP behind of this firewall, which is connected there, okay? So let's start here. So let me explain you. So friends, you can see this is my LAN network and this will be DMZ, okay? And you can see LAN network interface IP 10.1.1 and my PC IP 1.10 and DMZ. My network is 20 router and we have a loopback here. Server IP 16.1. Okay. And this is my outside interface and my management interface. So from here we can access internet. Okay. This is my WAN interface. You can see management and WAN. And my firewall management IP is 100.100. .100. Will show you the IP address of the firewall. So, so you can see my port one IP address 100.100. Port two is my inside. Okay, 10.1.1.1 and port three IP address. Port three IP address 20.1.1.1. Okay. okay. So you can see on the port one I have allowed services ping HTTPS SSH HTTP. Okay. So you can see I have to check my suppose I have to check my port one status okay diagnose diagnose hardware device info nick port one okay so it will show its status here like port one driver whatever dot net version one hardware address mac address of this interface okay you can see mac address link is up M2 size 1500 supported 1100 full okay speed 10,000 full so if rx and trans both packet is there so means there is no issue with the interface okay it's working properly there is no drops no error on the interface okay from the cli you can get all the interface ip addresses like uh, diagnose ip address list okay you can see we can see all the interfaces ip addresses okay here port on port two. suppose we have a multiple vlan multiple sub interface and more like 100 so you can grab here with this command grab pi grab port one okay port one before troubleshooting, we should be aware with my interface, IP addresses and connectivity. So you can see someone like we have a ticket, ticket number one. Okay. When I trying to access from this PC to this server via telnet, yeah, such so such, it's not working. We are not able to access this server from this PC by telnet. Okay. So let's see. What is the issue there? Why it's not working? Okay. So first, let's initiate traffic from my Windows PC. Okay. Telnet 172.16.1.1. So you can see it's not getting connected here. There is some issue not getting connected. So we can check on the firewall if we are getting traffic here. Okay. So first, let me check if we are getting ARP of this get system ARP. So you can see we have ARP of port two means that if we have a ARP entry, then our connectivity here to here is there. So now let's we'll see traffic is hitting on the firewall or not. Diagnose sniffer packet you can use port 2 incoming interface port 2 or you can use any 
if you are not aware with interface which from on which interface traffic is coming then you can put here any now quotation in the quotation you can put here host 10.1.1.10 source ip it could be source or destination host okay verbose force zero a okay so just you can see there is a, a other traffic is coming on this interface so you can filter with port also okay and port 23 okay so now let's initiate here traffic you can see on port 23 traffic is hitting on the firewall interface port 2 so friends you can see traffic is coming to the interface in 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 on port 2 only sin packet is here not seen a reverse we are not getting reverse traffic means traffic only coming to the firewall but not out it should be out through this interface so traffic coming to the firewall but is dropping here something so what could be the region so what could be the region there is two possibility like policy is not there on the firewall or route so let's check here so let's create policy you can do one thing you can find out the policy suppose you have a suppose on the firewall there is thousand five thousand policy so how you will find out the policy here how you how you will filter this policy so what we can do we can check here policy is exist on the firewall or not so friend there is a command to check policy is there firewall or not okay so let me tell you the command first you have to check your source interface suppose in my case my source interface is port 2 so how you will check source interface is if traffic not coming get with the route okay get router info routing table detail source ip your source ip is 10.1.1.10 okay source ip so you can see uh, click connected to port 2 means our source interface is port 2 okay so let me find out the policy so there is a command is there diagnose firewall ip group lookup i prop lookup my source and ip 10.1.1.10 source port random 1234 destination ip destination port 23 protocol tcp source port port 2 so friends we can with this command we can check for this source and destination this destination policy is exist or firewall or not so you can see it's showing zero means there is no policy on the firewall okay so friends let's create policy for this source and destination so lan to dmz okay dmz incoming port 2 outgoing port 3 source lan destination server 1 172.16.1.6 service you can put here all or port 23 net no net all session no enable click on ok okay so you can see we have policy now friends again run diagnose command okay diagnose in infer packet port 23 now again you can check here connectivity okay still we can see we can see only in packet is there in okay not out from the firewall so what could be the region so might be route not there so let's check route so router get router info routing table detail 
destination one is equal to 16 one dot one so you can see route is not there okay default route is getting through the port one okay but route should be through this IP port three okay so let me check here so let's put route on the firewall go to network and static route so create a new route destination 172.16.1.1 slash 32 is your gateway will be your gateway will be 20.1.1.10 okay 20.1.1.10 interface should be all through port 3 okay now click on okay now you can check here so now initiate traffic and debug sorry just diagnose command run diagnose command and initiate traffic here okay okay still is not connecting so friend you can see still not connecting but now what we can see we can see traffic is coming to the port 2 and getting out from the port 3 means traffic is coming to the firewall and and getting out from the firewall okay you can see getting out from the firewall from port 2 to port 3 okay means there is no issue from the firewall means return traffic not coming to the firewall and might be reverse route not towards this firewall okay now let's log into the router and we'll check reverse route is there or not so we can see for subnet 10.1.10 we don't have any route here okay so reverse route should be let's configure reverse route ip route 10.1.1.255.2.0 24 and gateway will be firewall IP 20.1.1. Okay. Exit and save. Now we'll check connectivity here. Okay. Now friends will check connectivity. Now friends again you can check here connectivity. Let's start with sniffer and just again initiate telnet. Now you can see it's connected here. Now getting from means is connected. So let's so let's uh, check here what we are getting in a sniffer so so you can see source in from port 2 and getting out from port 3 sin and cinec we can see cinec reply is there then source become destination become source and entering from port in and out from port 2 means traffic is working fine you can see this is you can see this is reverse traffic source destination becomes source and source become destination cnec ec three and sec is completed here okay so this could be the region to traffic not passing through the firewall okay now friends let me explain another ticket okay so friend you can see this is my LAN pc okay i want to access internet on my this pc okay so this is my outside interface this is my when and towards internet okay this is my internet zone So, the 